Risky Behavior. Yo, what's up, man? How y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. This is Risky News, and I am your host, Smelly. Tonight, I'm bringing you a story about a mother high on meth that smothered and killed her own child. First, um, before I play the video, I want to give special shout outs to my boy, Prince of Petty, who shared this story with me. I'm going to make sure I drop his name and um, channel in the description so y'all can go over there, follow and show some support. So mother high on meth smothers her child, admits, gives full confession and yet is found not guilty. I'll be right back with my final thoughts. I got a couple of news clips I'm going to play. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Breaking right now, a verdict just reached in the de neglect death of a two-month-old girl. The baby's mother, Daisha Lacey, was just found not guilty for neglect of a dependent resulting in death. Our Rich Nye has been covering this trial from the start and brings us the latest now on today's decision. Rich? Jenny and Dustin, this was a bench trial here that lasted three days at the Community Justice Campus, and that means that the judge heard the all the evidence, there was no jury, and the judge decides the verdict. And Judge Mark Stoner ruled within the last hour that Daisha Lacey did not commit a criminal act of neglect that resulted in her two-month-old baby's death. Lacey allegedly admitted in a police interview that she smothered her child while she was high on meth and tired. She allegedly put a pillow on the baby's face to make her stop crying. Lacey's other daughter, who was only three at the time, testified that she saw her mom put a pillow on her baby's face. But there was no medical or physical evidence presented at trial to show that the baby was smothered or that she died from suffocation. The judge said that the charges were not appropriate in this case. Court accordingly enters judgment of not guilty reluctantly i do hope that you will take the opportunity to get the counseling that you need to get the counseling for the children that you need that you learn from this behavior and hopefully the rest of the community learns from this behavior that you cannot go out and party on the weekend and be with children May not have been a safe place. Toxicology report did show meth in Daisha Lacey's system, but Judge Mark Stoner said if she had been charged with reckless homicide or involuntary manslaughter, he could have found her guilty, but she's not guilty of neglect of the dependent resulting in death. Daisha Lacey has been in jail for a little over a year since her arrest in this case. She will be free later today. At Rich, how long did it take Judge Stoner to reach that decision? Well, this took a th three days in this bench trial, and a lot of his uh, consideration was over a three-hour police interview that he reviewed and watched again and again. The problem with that was, in that interview, Lacey allegedly admitted that she smothered the child. But you could not hear that in the police interview on the video. That was one of the hangups in this case as well. Judge Stoner took a lot of time to review that video, but ultimately after hearing closing arguments, he came back in 15 minutes with that verdict this afternoon. All right, Rich and I live downtown Indianapolis for us. Thank you. We'll see you with more coming up at five. Okay, so that was the first clip. I was going to play like a couple other ones to see if they say anything differently. An Indianapolis mother. But I am starting to get an idea of how she got off. A lot of people are calling for the uh, resignation of the judge. But it looks like the investigation and the prosecution... They dropped the ball. They messed up is what it's looking like. Accused of neglect resulting in the death of her two-month-old daughter, 
was found not guilty in Marion County Court this afternoon. That verdict handed down by Judge Mark Stoner following a three-day bench trial. Two-month-old Alana Lacey died inside her home on Burton Avenue in August of 2022. Court records show that the girl's mother, Dacia Lacey, admitted that she smothered her daughter in the couch cushions because she was high on meth and wanted that child to stop crying so she could get some sleep. Lacey, though, has always maintained that the death was an accident. Today, Judge Stoner told the suspect she was a bad parent and she was not innocent. The judge believes she was guilty of involuntary manslaughter, but because she wasn't charged with that crime, he instead found her not guilty of neglect, resulting in death. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm So they put the wrong damn thing on the paper. Oh, my gosh. Not guilty. That's the verdict handed down this afternoon to an Indianapolis mother who had been accused of neglect, resulting in the death of her two-month-old daughter. Fox 59's Jesse Wells has more on that surprising verdict that followed a three-day bench trial. Before announcing his verdict, the judge told the suspect she was a bad parent and she was not innocent, but the judge believed she should have been charged with involuntary manslaughter, and because she wasn't charged with that crime, he instead found her not guilty of neglect resulting in death. Inside this home on Burton Avenue in August 2022, police found a two-month-old girl unresponsive. That newborn child, Alana Lacey, died on scene. Five months later, in January 2023, the girl's mother, Daisha Lacey, was charged with causing her child's death. Court records show the mother gave a lengthy videotape confession in which she tearfully admitted she smothered her daughter in the couch cushions because she was high on meth and wanted the child to be quiet so she could get some sleep. But remember, though, that part that you couldn't hear that in the video. So when the judge was reviewing the video, that part, the audio went out. And I've seen that in other court cases before and stuff like that. Um, sometimes technical difficulties happen and it does hurt. When trying to review evidence. Lacey, though, always maintained the death inside the home was an accident and she didn't intend to kill her child. At the end of her trial, Judge Mark Stoner chastised Lacey, saying her actions were reckless, but insisted the prosecutors didn't prove she intentionally harmed her daughter and they didn't charge her with the right crime. Because April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, the judge said there are lessons about dangerous parenting practices that can be learned from the case, but then said he reluctantly found Lacey not guilty because being a bad parent isn't always against the law. If she had been convicted, the suspect would have faced between 20 and 40 years behind bars. Instead, she has now been set free. Attorneys for both sides did not want to comment after the verdict. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. It's time for me to get set up for therapy, and I use oh this room as my office. But the desk is over here, and nurse. so... I want to go back and hear what he said. When 20 and 40 years behind ball parenting practices, because April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, the judge said there are lessons about dangerous parenting practices that can be learned from the case, but then said he reluctantly found Lacey not guilty. And that's the part that, like, dangerous parenting practices. Smothering your child with a pillow is not a dangerous parenting practice. It is a dangerous murdering practice <laughs> that makes no sense with it's not a bad parenting that is murder you have plenty of bad parents you got bad but you look being a bad parent is your child is struggling with reading and writing and arithmetic and you neglect to get them the help they need to further their education that's being a bad parent coming home high and smothering your child because they're crying and you want them to shut up that's that's not bad parenting that's that's murder So I don't, I don't, I don't get that, but I do see the difficulty of the prosecution, right? Is because them not feeling like it's something she did on purpose. It may have been something done 
while under the influence of a drug. I guess they kind of struggled with and they just went with what they thought would fly. Like, you know, they maybe didn't think they could do second degree murder. They might have not thought it quite fit in voluntary manslaughter. They might have felt, well, hey, this is a parent. They felt to. Um, and um, also in the earlier news clip, and I thought of this right, because they said they presented no. Um, medical, scientific, they nothing, right? So what I'm thinking is this, is if, you, say, she comes home, she's high, the, the child is crying, right? She puts the pillow over the child to shut them up because she's high, she doesn't want to hear the child cry. Cool. But the kid, but the baby may not have been dead right away, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know what they marked the time of death is, but maybe they felt as if, um, well, you put the, the, the pillow over the baby was the baby. Do you think they died? She could have been like, no, no, I don't think the baby died. And well, did you try to, um, call 911 to get an ambulance to get them help? Uh, well, no, I just, I just went to sleep. They could have thought, well, okay, well maybe this is neglect that resulted in death. So I don't know. I I don't I don't know. I think this is a a horrible um story. Um I'm not sure if they're going to allow her to get her other child back. I think that would be a weird relationship growing up with someone that you know murdered your sister that you saw murder your sister and that person you saw murder your sister was your own mom. You know, I, I, I don't know. A lot of people calling for the resignation of that judge. And I can understand that people are upset is because you have a child that was murdered by their mother. Um, I'm not sure if she has family or other people that are hurt by this and stuff like that. But I think it is going to be very shocking to the public that have seen people get locked up for less and then this person just walks away scot-free like there was nothing the legal system could have figured out in order to rectify the situation you know it was just it's just a crazy case you know i i don't know it's it's sad um i remember my boy um my boy prince he was asking me who do i think dropped the ball um, I think, I think the investigation, um, did not bring the evidence, number one, that it needed to bring, um, the medical and, and other things that they were looking for, they didn't bring. I think they came in there very cocky because they knew she had confessed and they got lazy. Plain and simple. I think this is an example of the prosecution. Um. They were being lazy. They felt like it was a slam dunk that they had a um, a confession on tape. But dun, 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 that part <laughs> just so happened to not be recorded. And they were lazy and they paid for it. They paid dearly for it. And so now she gets to walk free because they screwed up. They got very, very happy because of that confession. And you can just tell that um, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. They rushed to probably close that case because they had a confession. And, you know, they're, you know, a lot of times with these, um, when it comes to homicide or just even the children, like the um, children being abused, children being hurt, um, they're behind. So, you, of course, you get this confession. You're like, man, we can close this. This is slam dunk. And it wasn't. And I watch a lot of true crime and stuff. I'm really much um, into that. And most, a lot of times, lawyers will tell you it's no such thing as a slam dunk. Anything can happen. And this is a perfect example of they rushed. They were lazy. They were cocky. And they dropped the ball 
And um, I'm glad I'm glad I got to watch all these clips. I had a very much different opinion um, before watching these extra um, clips. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got to. Um, I'm glad I got to look at them extra clips. But um, thank you all, man, for hanging out with me. Um, please, um, please, please, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, if you're not subscribed to the um, channel, go ahead, subscribe, hit that notification bell, thumbs up the video, share with a friend and share with a friend. I appreciate you all. Risky out. Risky behavior.